Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Faster Than Light. The revise, or however it's pronounced, won pretty significantly over the other ones. It was five votes for the, the revise, one vote for the Sarenkov, and nobody likes the Tektite. Anywho, we've got that first Mark I for the Crystalness. Heavy Crystal Mark One. It makes me wonder if there's Mark Twos for these, because I, I think that would be really cool to keep a full Crystal theme if we could. Except for maybe this. I thought I was thinking about this, and I was like, maybe if we just get hit by ions and stuff comes off, then we could get free damage. But it's when your ship actually takes damage. So even teleporting bombs and stuff wouldn't give us anything for this. I uh, might have renamed one of the people here Ruin, because I was told online I was going to do that for the rock ship, and we'll still have to do it so that we get all the achievements. But uh, if we go to the Rock Homeworlds, then we should be able to get to the Crystal Sector, apparently. And if we get to the Crystal Sector, we can get more Crystal Weapons. I'd like that. Anyhow, Debbie, Liam, Ruin, and Burko have an important quest. Amidst lots of nebulas. Well, I mean, at least it's like, ooh, we don't start with any. Already? You jump into the middle of a plasma storm. Multiple recently incapacitated ships loom in the shadows, briefly illuminated by the lightning, and we manually search, finding an Ion Blast Mark II and 17 scrap on the first jump. You know, Ion Blast II is blue, which is kind of like the crystals. Just saying. If we get more power, I could totally still use Ion weapons, I think. Nebulas, oh my god, is there a crystal ion weapon? That'd be so cool. Nebulas are known to be popular mantis hunting grounds. Information you would have done well to heed here. I thought it was going to say they would want that information. I think it's interesting that the heavy one costs less power. Wait, both of our weapons penetrate one layer of shields. That's crazy. We've got one two damage shot and two one damage shots. Together, these are actually really cool, because even if they have... Hmm. We would need one more shot, but we could pretty much get through quad shields if all these hit. We just had one more shot. Three, yeah. We're gonna take two damage already, because they've got some pretty solid stuff over here. I'm gonna put points in oxygen, because we need to breathe. Oh, we could take that out of there and put that in there. So I'm gonna do the crystal mob right there, and we'll also shoot right there. Oh, they even have cool crystal shattering effects. They just shoot them wherever now. They're going to die regardless. And there's no way they'll fix both of them in time. Let me just hear this. It even makes a shattering noise. 17. You know, I never really ever cared much about... Wow, we're getting all the ion storms. Like, sound effects and video games and stuff. But it's just lately. Ever since Jotun, I've been noticing stuff. I don't need to hit your shields. I'm just gonna break your weapons, because if I break anything else, then more stuff's gonna come online. I'm scared. Oh, I can't have shields up and you have a beam drone. Oh, I can't have shields up and you have a beam drone. We're shooting here instead. Please don't do more than one damage. Ah, my weapons! Wait, I lost power to this, right? I'll take this out of here and put this in the- wait, no. We'll put both of these in here for now. We didn't dodge the missile. I'm taking them out. I'm putting them in here. Beam drone get wrecked. Wait, that means we didn't need to shoot that. I should have done this all along. Look at how much damage we took. I hear fire. We don't have a door. Wait, no, no. We, we do have a door system. It's broken, right? Okay. I see what they did there. Hmm, we're kind of... Hmm. Well, all of their stuff's broken. Unfortunately, I desperately need more power. Hey, we broke the thing. Yeah, I'm not taking that. Do you take less damage from fires? I don't remember. Lockdown. And lockdown. Click to lockdown room with special power. That's so cool that they put that there. Like, we've done so many... More than 150 episodes. This is like 159 or something. So many freaking episodes. And we have a new race to play with. And we're going to again, because there's another crystal ship. 
And then the rock ship also has crystal people. Like, I, I like these guys a lot. That they have a special power, too. They're, they're a nice hybrid of things. This room's just gonna go. We're gonna take lots of damage. Hopefully we'll make up for it. Fixed. I'm gonna put this in oxygen so that we don't all die. I'm gonna fix the doors. And then... See, I want to jump to the next location so that I can see where the fires are. But if I did that... I need to double check. Do you guys have anything? You're like, kind of rock people, right? Movement speed is only partially reduced. Max health is still increased. Reduced suffocation damage. It has nothing to do with fire. Okay. So they're like, part Lanius, part rock people then. Yeah, the fires went out. Lack of oxygen, maybe? I don't hear the fire noises anymore. That's a cool place for sensors. I like this ship. Because if, if people boarded us, and we somehow had people over here or over here, and we just locked down these rooms, they could get stuck here. Oh! There's doors on the other side. There was a hard line there. I didn't even see them. Ah, that's actually kind of irksome. It doesn't really matter, though. Just because it's like, no, there's there's a wall here, and they don't connect all the way over. Graphically, this should be like a little indent, like this. It's whatever. We've still got a way to vent over here, vent in the middle quite heavily, and vent over here. And since we can lock down rooms, it's going to be pretty cool. We can get out of here. Your scans reveal no life. This is a good thing. Put that there, put that there. No, I don't need to put more power in immediately. We can do things as usual. We just got really screwed over by some ion plasma storm things. A ship hails you. Good sir, it seems you're having some troubles with the rebels. I'd like to help you, but I can't afford the upkeep required on this hunk of junk I'm flying. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. See, that kind of sucks, because these sound like good people. And we always fight them. These are really useful too, though. Delaying the rebels? Would we get more than 12? How many turns do they delay it? If they delay it two turns, then this could be more than worth it. Because we're gonna get way more than 12, like at least 14. Does that count as way more? I don't know. Scouting the sector could also tell us where the store is. But if the store is right next to us, then we just basically threw away 11 scrap. I like, I mean, you know, I'm gonna use them to scout. Oh, map has been updated. Uh, okay. Asteroid field, nearby sun. And wow, that connects to everything. This only connects to here and here, though. We need to hit a few more before we go to the store. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools and they've tried to shut down your engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational, and you move in to attack. I'm going to fire at your weapons. And your evasion. That sounds pretty good. One is more likely to hit it, because we shoot twice, and if the other one does hit, then they lose their evasion. The heavy one actually fires faster, too. Ow. This shield piercing effect is so cool. On weapons that aren't even, uh, like lasers or anything. Or missiles. So satisfying. Oh, they can breach! And stun. Four fuel. 24. Definitely worth it. Yeah, breach and stun. So there's no chance of fire, but I feel like breach is a lot harder to deal with. Unless we're doing rock boarding, in which case fire is an ultimate. Your jump leads you to emptiness. Hmm, I should have come down here and then gone up more. We still have a little bit to go. I'm gonna go to this asteroid field. Then we'll go to the store. A pirate was lying in wait! Going to fire there, and then going to fire here. We do penetrate their shields, so we could just avoid them, but we're in an asteroid field, so... Uh, one damage. No shields for you. 
Of course it missed. Their weapons are disabled, though. And if nature doesn't take them out, then we're going to. You're not going to fix two layers of shields that fast. 26. Pretty sweet. We don't even have any scrap recovery arms. I haven't had, like, any of those in the last few runs. Uh, this is what we're going to have to jump to eventually. So because we're going to go here, I think we're just going to go to the store early. Could use to get back to the green for repairedness, too. A fire beam. Oh, there's a regular heavy laser. Don't have cloaking. How much does this sell for? 40? We've taken, like, half our health. Has this even procced once? Did I miss it? Alright, I might be crazy, but this doesn't seem strong at all. Like, if the, if this costs 80 and they're gonna give me 40 for it, basically, like, I think we would honestly just be better off selling it. Crystal Vengeance sounds like such, like such a cool augment, but I'm like... I just can't. We can get humans... More crew would definitely be nice. Fire beam, but I don't have any way of getting the shields down other than just taking those down. Why couldn't I have got this the last run? That would be cool. I love these. And fire bombs. Two power also requires two power. Fires five seconds faster, but doesn't require the missiles. We could just get cloaking. We already have enough, and cloaking's useful for every run. To get it this early, man, in the first sector? I think? Yeah, I want the fire beam. But... Cloaking is the smarter choice, and sometimes I have to do things that are a little less suicidal. You detect a rebel scout on attack approach to a small refueling outpost. We have to intervene and defend them. Maybe they'll give us fuel. Uh, oh, you have no way of ever hurting me. That's nice. And I don't have to hit your shields, so I'm just going to shoot your evasion. Pew. Like, if you hear the noise, it still makes the lasers or coming out of the end of the gun noise, but whenever they hit, it's the crystal noise. The difference is silly. I wonder how long the game was out for before they added these new crystal people. Apparently, the, obviously the advanced edition wasn't with the game when it came out, but we're playing it like five years after it came out. Ship breaks apart. We did get fuel. We did get scrap. It's definitely not going to be on this one next, so we can jump here. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. We demand its goods. It wants to run. Foolish. We're going to shoot their evasion, because it's more likely that one of these will hit, and I seriously doubt they have two points in there. And then this is going to shoot their drones. Shields, level up! We could have got crew as well. Could have gotten a couple people for crew. Ooh, it missed. But we've already got two, uh, two humans getting the evasion down, and the rock people... You, uh, you should have been in there, Ruin. That's where you should have been. Still making mistakes. I wonder, if I do lockdown... Hmm. Okay, so it doesn't stop him from working on the, uh... The system. I thought it might lock him out of it. Does this recharge, or is this once per fight? Oops. I didn't notice that they weren't on auto-fire, my bad. Just shoot wherever, we got them. No, my crystal weapons. Please fire in time. That was way closer than it should have been. Alright, we got power back into that. I could put two points in here. For the double shields. A mercenary hails you. And I fight them. You can't hurt me. If I have two layers of shields. So now we can just take our time and kill them. 
Because of our lack of power, I'm probably also going to forget to constantly uh, use the cloaking this early. No, no, I don't need that. I'm more interested in uh, getting a little bit more scrap right now. We should probably upgrade the medbay for the more blue options and the sensors. Those are good systems. Great. Though more power. Probably find use for that too. We'll come down here and then we should be able to go up and leave. If we jump down, there's no way we would make it back in time. There are a number of privately owned ships. There are ship construction platforms in the area. We inquire about their specialties and it is the sensors I was just talking about upgrading. We agree to the exchange and they become better. Yay, discounts. I love those. It could have been for any one of them. I wouldn't care. You detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. This is actually slightly worse for us. Just because they don't have shields. So the added effect of our guns, they don't they don't work. This is a two-cost dual laser, Ned. This is still really good. This is, like, just as good as that other one. It just fires slightly slower. It's not too much of a negative. I just think it's kind of funny that our weapons are less cost-efficient if they don't have shields. Yeah, I'm gonna blow you up now. Twelve, and seventeen from them. We want to go to Rock Controlled. Rock Home Worlds. Wow, and then, and then we get all the green. I mean, we're going to have three other, or two other ships other, after this that could potentially do that. But still. We want to go to Zoltan Control regardless? But... Ooh. We're, we're going to hold on to our scrap then. I was about to give us more power and stuff. There are a few more zealous in their customs checks than the Zoltan. A team of border police beam on board. Okay, so you're going to use your lockdown power. And then we're going to open these. You're going to move in here. Can they shoot through this? Does that make it go faster or something? I wonder. Burko should be Bjorn, but he has to be Bjorn by more than 15 health. Shoot this crazily. Alright, so they stun both of them. I don't think Burko is safe to kill them, so right before... Okay, good, they died. I should just... Burko, just leave the room. Honestly, just leave the room. Bjorn's gonna die. Yeah, I was thinking about putting more power into our shields. Not really gonna help us. Because they have a flag. It's happening one way or another. Okay, with them gone. Man, with a fire beam, I could totally roast these guys. Well, that's why we had double shields, so now we still have regular shields. They need to heal up. Oh, cool, it does recharge. The bar's on the side, right? I need to shoot your weapons. It would be neat if it did, like, extra damage to people, too, because the crystal shards were, like, shrapnel or something. But the shield piercing! I'll take that, too. Yeah, if you two could just finish that. Perfect. 29. This could go... No, that, that's too many jumps. And this is too close. We're just gonna go to the store now. The Zoltan are fascinated by other species. Small bomb, heavy laser mark one, we could have got another one. Drone control, backup battery, no. Not really feeling it. A slug could be cool though, that's lots of blue options. So what an Angie. Telepathic, um... I think I'm gonna buy a Sem because Sem's a little bit cheaper than Atreyu. Then I'm gonna heal back up into the green. And pick up the fuel. So slug person, Debbie's already gonna be a good pilot. Sem's not good at anything yet. I would have Sem be the pilot, but didn't really end up working out. I'm gonna move you into the sensors then. 
Save crew, crew positions. You guys should heal. We're kind of dying. I need to quit treating this like it's... Uh, what's it called? A clone bay. I just, like, that's my default for some reason. Even though most runs we have med bays. Everybody's not in a state of dying. I'm gonna save these positions so that they'll return there. That seems kind of appropriate, though. Slugs giving us more sight. Yeah, I'm not going that way. That'd just be crazy. Really, though, we need more power. You arrive at a Zoltan research facility, and you participate in their study. Like, we have nice things, but we don't have the power for them, so there's no reason for us to get new things if we can't use the things we already got. Mineral-rich asteroids. Another store. Yeah, that would have definitely been a waste. There's nobody would have gotten scrap in time. Despite their precautions, pirates have begun to harass the local Zoltan settlements across this sector. One such pirate spots your ship and moves in to attack. I do really appreciate being able to see the charge of their weapons. Rank 3 and rank 4 of sensors are just great. And we're so early, too. So, I'm not going to need the double shields. Our evasion is actually more valuable. And we're going to shoot the shields. Or, not the shields, the weapons. Because the missiles are totally shields. Because I don't want to get hit by missiles. Yay! Yep, just keep doing that. Ah, I see Zoltan, and I'm like, it's such an easy target. So evil. Wow, you are so lucky, Sophia. You were gonna die, but now you're gonna die seconds later instead. What? What does this ship have? Like, 20% evasion, maybe? Nope. And it's breached. I'm just gonna keep- if you guys are gonna keep moving- oh my god, we double breached it. The oxygen in this room is gone. And so is Kara. 30 more. More power. We can actually support our double shields now. That should be nice. Oh dear. Yeah, that's too many jumps. It does slow down if we go this way, though. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two of these are slow. I don't think we could make that, honestly. I'm gonna go the safe route. If we get multiple... Uh... Rebel advance, like getting caught, it's just, it's, it's not gonna work out. I'm just gonna control click these until that's gone. In fact, I should control click them here so that they actually go through something meaningful. Actually, I should control click them here and here because they will never be able to hurt us so their weapons aren't actually a priority. Well, now that we've got that settled. And we're getting more evasion. Ion weapons are awful for, for leveling up the shields because they're not on the station when it gets hit. It's messed me up before. But our evasion, it's about to hit green. Yes, run back and forth trying to fix them as I shoot them both. Breaches are so satisfying. I think I like these weapons even more, especially since this is like a dual laser that breaches. 31. More power? I mean, I guess I could use one more point of power. Or we could upgrade the door systems. I think I'm gonna get doors. That's one less thing for me to worry about, because now we can just suffocate crews. The Zoltan Station near this beacon are happy to receive you. As they rece or as they give you the formal tour of their ship, you spy some local star charts and mentally log the details. That's cool! I don't think we've ever gotten that before. I like that we can still get new events. Despite their precautions, pirates have begun to harass the local Zoltan settlements across the sector. One such pirate spots your ship and moves into attack. Though I guess that would be true of a lot of things. Because if you think about it... I'm gonna shoot this here, and I'm gonna shoot this here. We haven't even been to the Crystal Sector once. That's an entire sector of stuff. You're gonna break that, aren't you? Why do you have to do this? Fire! Do it! Do it! I was robbed. It definitely hit the top. 
broken and breached. No actual damage. Okay, that was two. If they'd both gone off, we could have taken them out at the same time. Wait, I'm shooting the shields. That's not the weapons. Why do I not know what the systems look like? Yeah, how about you come over here? I'm not accepting your surrender. You've done too much damage to me. I've been wronged far too much to let you live. One way or another, your death is inevitable. So that's another 33. Get to the exit. Will we be able to jump back? A small platform orbits near this beacon. It looks like a fueling station of some, of some sort and is cheerily broadcasting reasonable prices. Seal your blast doors. One can never be too careful when docked. Pirates hidden on the station are confounded by your security locks, turning an attempted ambush into a fish-in-a-barrel firefight. You take control of the station and its fuel reserves. See? Doors paying off already. We could totally do a jump and then jump back. And I know there's a confrontation here. And... Yep, we'll just keep shooting there. Don't want to get hit by the missiles. Oxygen is powered. I could probably use cloaking, as I should have been. Yeah, we could have avoided a lot more missiles if I actually made use of the systems we already had. How did we get this so early? It's like not even processing in my brain that we have this yet. Like, did we get cloaking before we got double shields? Stupid Angie fixing things. I really hope we find a rock home world. That'd be pretty cool. There's not many red sectors, and with my luck, it'll probably be the one that's like up in the top and not in the bottom. So, it's probably going to be like this one or this one. I think we're going to hang low, though. Zoltan Homeworlds. Hmm. You know what? We could go up here and then go down. No matter what, there's only going to be one here. Because it's basically like this line. Like, we can't get multiple here. There's going to be one here, and there's going to be one here pretty much... Certainly, but there's two chances at it being down here. So what we need to do is get down there. I'm going to take this as a chance at Zoltan Shields, because if we get Zoltan Shields, we'll definitely take a lot less damage, because that's like having a whole other system, except it's free. So we're going to stop here before the episode is 10,000 years long. Thank you guys very much for voting and for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.